Byron Greff was the last Canadian soldier to lose his life in Afghanistan. Greff was 28 years old when he was killed by a suicide bomber during his second tour in that country. A brave and accomplished serviceman, he is remembered for his sense of humor and unwavering focus on the job. And his mom and this year's Silver Cross mother, Candy Greff, joins us this morning. Welcome to your morning. Thank you so much, Anne. Candy, I appreciate you being here today. Let's talk about your son. Byron was a proud member of the 3rd Battalion of the Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry. What can you tell us about his career in the military? Byron was uh, very dedicated to his job. We are so very, very proud of the work that he did in Afghanistan and throughout his career in the military. Yeah, he's remembered as somebody who has a sense of dedication and of duty. I would, it's fair to say he would have learned that from you, Candy. You were, you've been an L LPN for 33 years. I was, I was. And uh, my husband, Greg, was working in construction for, he just retired actually. So he worked many, 40 years in construction. So the hard work, I think was passed on to, to Byron. Hmm, what a great compliment. Outside of the uniform, it's Byron's sense of humor that stands out to you. I love this story, if you could share it with us, of an April Fool's joke he played. Oh dear, that was something. You know, it, you realize it's April 1st. There's going to be something that happens. <laughs> um, uh, I, was, I walked down into the kitchen and I uh, was by the sink and Byron said, Mom, could you just grab me a glass of water there quick? So I turned the cold water tap on full blast. I did not know that these three children, Byron, Chelsea and Dustin, had taken an elastic band and <laughs> tied the sprayer oh, open. No. <laughs> and did I get blasted? They they howled. They, they just thought that was the funniest thing ever. And yeah, we know who instigated that. <laughs> <laughs> Describe his laugh to me. I've heard you mention it was something that stands out in your yeah. memories of him. It's on, it was boisterous. It was loud. It, it went on forever. <laughs> I, 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 that's all I can say. I'm just thinking so loud. And it just, it, it was contagious, really. You know, uh, on days like today, we appreciate the stories of our Silver Cross moms because it can be both a joy to remember those you've lost, but it also dips into yes. the pain of that loss uh, as it well. Does. Um, it, it certainly does. What do you want people to know about other mothers, other military moms who have lost their kids? I want to remind people of the dedication and the sacrifice when people, when someone joins the military, they're signing on the dotted line and what they're doing is giving to their country and all of the Silver Cross mothers and families who have had to suffer through and most likely as we do continue to suffer through all of the pain mm -hmm. that is associated with losing someone so dear and in such a tragic way. I want them to know that we understand and we get it. Hmm. We, we are with them, and I'm very proud to represent all Silver Cross mothers and families. How is Byron being remembered? Byron has uh, the city of Lacombe. When we returned back from Trenton, when his body was repatriated, we returned from the Edmonton airport to Lacombe, and there were yellow ribbons everywhere. Hmm. There was a bench at uh, his high school, an outdoor classroom that has a bench with a beautiful plaque on it. There's a decommissioned light armored vehicle at the cemetery. The Lacombe Legion has named their upper hall Byron Graff Memorial Hall. Uh, all of it is overwhelming and so thankful to everyone who has, has put endless effort and, and endless hours into all of these things that, that re, he, they're remembering him with us and we are so appreciative of all of that. Candy, what does it mean to you to get to share these stories about Byron today across the country? It's so important to remember Byron and all the others who lost their lives in all of the wars and all of the conflicts that have happened across the world. It's, it's important for us to connect with others and be supported. 
Candy Graff, Canada's Silver Cross mother this year. I want to thank you for sharing both your happy memories of your son, his great sense of humor and his laugh, as well as his service. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Pam. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.